Hi guys, I was just going to show you some of the stuff we've bought for the motorhome. The motorhome is coming home tonight, yay! And it is an absolutely beautiful day outside. Absolutely perfect outside. But anyway, here's some of our stuff. Um, for First of all, I showed you this these pillows. I started with the pillows, and everything is built around that. Um, that uh, comforter for the bed is... Uh, goes with the pillows because you can see the bedroom from the living room and then there's a runner it's a little bit darker but that won't matter I don't think but there's a runner rug that will go oh it still looks good with the pillow it looks real close so and that'll be on the floor in front of the couch and then I found this this fabric I'm going to make the drapes out of. It is the same pattern as that. Similar colors as that, but different background, but still to find the same pattern. And this is also shimmery. I don't know if you can see on here like the uh, pillows are. So they're not going to be right next to each other anyway, but this is what I'm making the drapes out of. I was going to make curtains, but these will be good for in the um, winter too or cooler weather. So yep same same fl flower pattern and stuff so I'm pretty excited then for the um, window behind the birds which I just basically want to block light for them or block the outside when we're traveling so that they can't see big trucks going by or whatever and freak out I just got this is a real heavy it looks kind of suede but it's not it's just a big heavy uh, Kind of like a broadcloth, but heavier. So that's for the bird windows. This is a fan to clip on the front of the bird shelves. The top ones, the bottom ones, shouldn't be an issue, but it will face away from the birds and pull air from the window behind them so they get fresh air while I'm cooking. So they're not getting cooking because they're right across from the stove. And, of course, I'll also have the fan on, um, you know, above the stove. But... That's to keep the cooking stuff away from them. Turquoise and red for all of the, um, all of my kitchen stuff. Turquoise and red. And then we also got a skillet, grilling skillet. It's a stainless steel skillet for the grill. And it also will work in the oven or whatever. So there's that. And then all of these different, pur oh, I'm sorry, not purple, turquoise and red, like everything else is. This isn't necessarily for the motorhome, but I have a griddle that my stepmom gave me that's probably 50 years old. It's a Presto griddle, and it's broken. The leg is broken, so it's tippy. We have to put a bowl under it. Um, the uh, electrical cord that plugs into it... Uh, something happened to that so we had to find another one that fits but it gets real hot so anyway as much as I love the skillet it can't be it's on its last legs and hopefully you guys can see that little wet, red little woodpecker that's out there he just flew to the tree he's trying to he's kind of going behind him from side to side see that's why I want to sit out here instead see him He's so cute. <laughs> you don't need a woodpecker. Okay, anyway, back to the top of hand. I've needed a new griddle, to make a long story short, if it's not too late. And um, they're all non-stick, and of course you don't use non-stick when you have parrots. Um, so... I found one with these with the ceramic coating with no PTFEs or any of that. So it's got the ceramic coating like my pans do. So I found that and it was thirty nine bucks and that was a good price. So I will definitely be because I make I make my wraps on the skillet. Um, I make pancakes on the skillet. I do pork chops or pork steaks on the skillet. So it'll get a lot of use. I'm just very pleased to have that. Another thing that we got that is for the motorhome but also for here is a, the new wave oven. We had, we, we've had a couple of these over the years. And, um, oh, stop. 
half that much. We've had a couple of these over the years. We oh probably it's probably been a couple of years though since our last one broke, and so I've been kind of looking for one. Um, we were at Bed Bath and Beyond, and we were looking around, and we asked a gentleman there if they had one, and he said, well, they don't sell them in the store, only on the website, but, and it's a God thing here, because I've been looking at these for a couple of years, um, someone had ordered it from the website, never even opened it, just changed her mind and decided she didn't want it anymore and brought it to the store, so that was for sale, and that had only happened 10 minutes before I asked, so there we go, I got another new wave, we use this all the time. I had mentioned before that Pete's Grill had bit the dust last year and he's needed a new gas grill, so we picked up one of those. This That wasn't from Bed Bath & Beyond, that was from Walmart. The other day when we were vacuuming, the vacuum cleaner bit the dust, so we got a Shark Navigator Lift Away uh, vacuum and it's for pet owners, so it's got special attachments and tools and abilities and whatever. Lightweight. For the motorhome, also a set of bowls. It's got a strainer in there. And it's got measuring cu all measuring cups on top. Very lightweight. Also for the motorhome, and what else do I have in here? Sheets for the bed in the motorhome. Black. There's some pillows. We got each got a new pillow for the motorhome, so we're not having to carry our pillows back and forth. They were just $5.99. Pillows are not that much. There is a sink protector for one side of the sink, more more to drain dishes on, and to, so we don't have any counter space. So that'll be for draining dishes on one side of the sink. Speaking of dishes, we just got these four microwave plates. Um, the plates we have in the house I bought um, last year because with the thought that we'd probably have a motorhome, which we didn't last year, but they're lightweight, they're plastic, but they are not microwavable. So. Now we'll have microwavable plates, and the light plastic plates uh, from in the house will go in the motorhome. So, boy, I've made a mess out here. Oh, yeah, also got this um, from um, Hobby Lobby. We got this uh, waste basket. That's, um, that's what we did for our shopping trip on Saturday, plus, of course, Horrocks. I showed you all that food, and the food that I showed you that I bought, I also bought two big bottles of sugar-free syrup. One is vanilla bean and one is strawberry. Oh, there's the leg pulling out of the driveway now. Um, it is... Oh, that house looks so nice compared to what it used to look. P went and talked to her and found out who the painter was that did her house. I'm very, very tempted to do our house, especially since we'll likely be listing it for sale next year. Anyway, um, it is 5.31. We are on our way to go pick up the RV in Roscommon. And um, on the way there, we'll stop at Bart's. I haven't been there yet this year. Pete has. I waited for so long for it to open, and then I haven't even been there yet. So we will be stopping at Bart's. There's our fire department. We will see how the lake looks, and then I'll turn you guys off till we get to Bart's. The lake looks nice and blue, nice and pretty. I left a roast in the oven. I made a pork roast uh, today, this afternoon, and it's just about done. I turned the oven down to 200, and then before we left. Yep, lake looks nice and blue. A little wavy. Gas. We'll do a gas report to 290.9, which is 291. So it's down 9 cents from last time I was out. Okay, guys, I will see you later. Here we are at Bart's. I don't think, I'll, even though it's not busy, I don't think I'll record in there. But I'll just show it to you here. I might record, but I'll use my phone so I'm not so obvious. This is only part of it. This is the food part. Back there, they have greenhouses. And
look familiar. We just went and got the RV from next door at Bob's house. And Pete is working on getting it out into the road because it's a big monster. Here he comes. And I'm driving the Suburban, of course, because my car is in them um, at camp. Here comes our big beast on the way home. Brakes, alternator, a whole bunch of stuff fixed. Wiring. Okay, I'm going to go so I can drive. There he is. Oh, he's so sexy when he drives that thing. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it is about 9.25. We just finished dinner after driving to Ross Common, getting the motor home, and then coming home. Um, we had, I roasted a pork roast and um, some a fresh pineapple that I cut in big cubes and roasted with the pork. And then we also had um, asparagus uh, sautéed in bacon fat with just salt, sea salt. And tomorrow's hump day already again. Yay for us. We get a hump day. <laughs> um, we will be tomorrow. I, I don't know what tomorrow will hold. I got lots of stuff to do in the motorhome. You know, plus bird cages and laundry and other stuff. So we'll see what happens. Um, I think it's supposed to rain in Lansing tomorrow. If that's the case, it may be a slow, slower day with calls, which means I'll get more done. So, so I guess I will see you tomorrow. I hope everybody had a terrific Tuesday. Um, too busy to watch vlogs today, so feels like I get behind, caught up, behind, caught up just do the best I can do. I know it's all any of us can do. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a happy hump day. Take care. God bless and good night.